Okay, so welcome to ep episode seven of uh, IJN versus Nieder. And I'm going to be honest, this entire episode is just one big battle that I wanted to fit into the previous episode, but I couldn't because it's like 20 minutes long. Um, but I do have some confessions to make. Mainly, I had to dub over like a good portion of the episode because my dad came, showed up and started talking to me. Um, but also, this is going to be the last episode that has my friends from Discord in the audio just because... It's kind of distracting, and a lot of people don't like it. Um, so, uh, yeah, today I'll be continuing my advance against the Onyx Watch. Uh, hopefully, once they're defeated, I can get my hands on some cool 1935 technology. But uh, with that, let's get into the episode. Research. Um... So I have no access to destroyers. I have no access to torpedo boats. So we've got the oil refinery platform, an anvil, a claymore, a harlek, a partisan, and another claymore. All oh, right. I, th I think the anvil is a cram mortar ship. Oh, boy. I have like three layers of deck armor, but they're not very thick individually. I think they might only be one meter thick. I just came across a battle cruiser that if Max were to build this class of battle cruiser, they plan to build seven of them. He could build seven of these, and he should be able to walk over most things. Were they the uh, Mackinson class? Yeah. Yeah, he, he even started building one of those and then scrapped it. I think he should have just stuck like eight 14 inch it. gun, 14 six inch guns. Eight Flak 88s and five, uh, what was that, 20 inch torpedoes? Yeah, he literally got that thing to being probably 85% complete, and then he was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna wait for like uh, interwar in World War II to build capital ships. But, like the German World War I high seas fleet was so strong. There's so many good designs he could have used. Anyways, I digress. Yeah. Uh, time to. Hopefully not lose. I'm I'm confident in Congo. I don't think it'll lose. My uh, the I rest think of my dead. ships will spawn in shortly. Okay, yeah, that's the guy still to spawn. All right, I so think we're... the Onyx Watch is gonna go <laughs> Acme on your ass and drop the anvil on you. Well, there is an anvil. It hasn't spawned yet, though. All right, who's so America? Hard. I think you should be, if you Lindstrom. want to transfer to America, I'd say go ahead, because Lindstrom has been here once. Yeah. So if you want to swap to America, go ahead. Has Lindstrom even talked to you at all since? All right, we're um, taking some external damage, but nothing. You want to do this some? Nothing uh, major. He's, uh... Meanwhile, Harlick here is getting... Been busy trying to get his, um, getting armor campaign off the ground. Armor 3 Battle Royale. All right, what, what happened? Did I hear what Max's back? That yeah, sigh here. sounded Maxian. Oh no, I just had stomach cramp. Dang. Why are you on like your a period? Stomach, stomach cramp <laughs> or a side cramp? It, no, it was like a, like a cramp you get in your hips. Kind of stomach cramp. Hmm. Oh, like right above your... Okay. Yeah. Like when you run after eating food? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, I, get, I get that feeling all the time. Did I just watch this 2,000 millimeter shell ricochet off of my funnel? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Putting the fun in funnel. Have you ever had that feeling where if you like, if you moved your um like abdomen too much... And when this is happening, like it feels like your belly button's gonna get ripped off. Huh? No. Right, you need to take a hot glue gun, a soldering pencil, and like <laughs> some lead and reattach your stomach. No, it's just if it just has a weird feeling like that sometimes. I think that's called stomach cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have cancer, bro. 
Yeah, no. Probably not. Hey, Max, do what? you like those memes? Yeah, I saw them. Also, the one with the HUD. That is way too loose. What's next? Hand holding? Oh, don't tempt What's me. What's next? Hand holding? I think the Harlick's disintegrating. Our constant barrage of 14 inch hollow point and kinetic rounds have been too much. Prepare for immediate disintegration. Who is firing these little shotgun broadsides? Oh. It's you, the Claymore, um, who is now ball. sitting at low speed, like 800 meters from a broadside Congo. Oh boy, what could go wrong? Can Congo just, like, snipe its AI to put it out of its misery? This poor, this little baby ship is just here getting executed. <laughs> Look at the size comparison, jeez. Very is this video going to have the lolly tag? No. It it might have I don't know, I might. Just we might get more viewers. <laughs> edit in. Actually, yeah. Clickbait everyone. Just put anime people on the front. I'll just hack your phone yes. and steal your uh, selfies, Brisby, and then just Photoshop it onto an anime girl. Put it on the front. No, 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 no. Just Photoshop the the uh, Azur Lane characters of the ships that you're using. <laughs> <laughs> the ships. Be like, oh yeah. No, so no, no. If you're using the Congo, you better fucking use the Kantai Collection version. <laughs> oh, yeah. What actually is the difference? Before you kill me, I uh, I know they're both anime. Well, Kantai Collection has the better Congo. Yeah, to That's be fair. the only difference. One people watched and one people say they watched. Hmm. I actually did watch all of Kantai Collection. I didn't watch all of Izzer Lane. Got like five episodes in and gave up. Went to go watch something else. More like, as you're lame. Aha, the anvil is the crime oh, mortar ship. Oh, right. Where are my destroyers? They're supposed to be spawning in sometime soon, but I guess not. Same with the uh, Tsukuba. Well... Mm. Congo versus everything, I guess. Also, where's the two Onyx watch ships that are also supposed to be spawning in? I thought this was going to spawn in two waves. You didn't increase your uh, block limit. Spawn everything else. I think I might have done done this too much. Alright, what else has appeared? Oh, they did send a sailing ship. The Partisan. What's it? Oh, it's a cram. All right, cram broadside sheep sailing ship. Oh, it does have a propeller though, but it's only one. So I think the sails are actually the sails might have some influence. Um, I'm gonna have everyone shoot at the anvil so it doesn't get another cram mortar volume off. The Congo is moving decently fast, but then again, mortars have that annoying homing capability. What the heck is this? Oh, it got another mortar volley off. Uh, Congo appears to have... No, it hasn't turned away. Long-range plunging fire incoming from the Partisan, I think. Landing well short. Oh, there's one ricocheting off the turret cap. Oh! Mortar volley from the, um... Anvil. Wow, what? Wow, that's in... The... They've all stacked into each other. I don't want that hitting anything important. But it doesn't look like it I will. I told you it was going to kill you. All the shells, like literally all, what is, how many shells even is this? Six. Seven. No, wait, there's two here. Eight. All eight shells are just in a perfect line, like glitched into each other even. And they just obliterated the uh, railing off of the stern. 
So rest in peace <laughs> railing, I guess. It hit nothing useful. Wow. Yep. They look like, like they're just pure high explosive. hit nothing useful. Although, yeah, if they all hit the same spot, they'll just sort of do the... They'll just burrow in. Yeah. It looks like it only has three mortars left firing, though. There is another mortar volley incoming. It's like when you get a perfect salvo on World of Warships, and then all the fucking shells ricochet. It's like ricochet over pen. Oh, this might hit a turret cap. This is going to be not good. Ouch. There goes the... In oh, no, it blew off the... Did it, did it kill the bridge? It blew off the bridge. Where am I? Rambot is durable. Is this gun? No, it's been completely... Did it get all the way down into the... Okay, it is not down in the magazine. I've now just glitched myself into the uh, gun magazine. Anyways, Rambot has survived, but this turret just got absolutely smashed. I still have six guns, though. So I'll be fine. Oh, the water is now red. What is this? More mortars falling? How are the other ships doing? I guess everyone has all ganged up on this poor anvil. Which is still... Mostly Bandits annoying. are annoyingly durable. Yeah. It looks like a lot of its cram motors have e either been disabled or damaged. I mean, not oh, yeah. disabled, but a lot of them are damaged because they're all firing on off intervals. Another salvo incoming. This one looks like it's going to land. Yeah, missed the bow by a couple inches. All right, I'm gonna let you Also getting go to your game. No Congo. Well, All right, I'm gonna let you continue with your recording. All right, I'm gonna go play some Avorian. Sure, oh, uh, I'm gonna hop right. on in like uh, once this is done. Congo, yeah. what have you done? My battleship just. Maybe that was a, a purposeful beaching, though. It might cause the cram mortar to miss. Oh but... well, now. Okay, so, uh, at this point, basically, my dad walks in and starts talking to me, and so it's gonna be dubbed from here on out, but, uh, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, anyways, looks like Congo has unstuck itself from the island and is, uh, reversing back. It's been kind of a while since I recorded this, so, I am also getting sort of a not new, but new-ish experience after watching this. So anyways, yeah, the anvil's lost a bunch of its um, mortars there, which is pretty good for me. Oh shoot, are we gonna get rammed here? I kinda forget. No, it doesn't look like it. That uh, rear funnel just got absolutely obliterated. But who cares? It's a funnel. I like how the Onyx Watch ships have their firing restrictions set up really well so that they can split fire between different targets. And uh, yeah, Congo is now going full on complete beach yourself mode, sticking itself up onto this rock. So that's <laughs> 10 out of 10 AI for you. And yeah, now the game's physics engine just gave up and let it go through the ground. Yeah, also Congo's lost two of the gun barrels on that forward turret, which isn't good considering it's firing kinetic and it needs gun barrels for high velocity. Not sure how the rest of my fleet's doing considering, uh, during battle me was just focused on the Congo, which is now splitting its gunfire between the um, anvil and uh, whatever that little ship is. I think that's the Palisade. I could be wrong. But yeah, the anvil's taking heavy damage, torpedoes, and it looks like it is sink, sank, sunk, which just leaves a couple weaker on this watch enemies, I think. Actually, no, there might be more stuff spawning in, I'm not sure. Hey, 
And yeah, the uh, island is now blocking Congo and Tsukuba's firing arcs. So maybe it'd be smart if Congo could like turn around, reverse, not just sail right into the island again. Oh, wait. Too late. Yeah, so at this point, one of the two remaining Onyx watch ships has just sailed into this little cove here and is now sitting here out of the firing arcs of the rest of my fleet. There's also, what is that, the Palisade, I think, the sailing ship? It's been mostly ignored. No, that's not the Palisade. That's... Why did I think that was the Palisade? Maybe something else was the Palisade. Uh, but the Kavas, I think there's two of them in this battle, should be working their way around to get gunfire and torpedo fire into that Onyx watch ship who's just hiding. Uh, you can see Congo in the background has beached itself for the third and final time. That's the Palisade, and it's going into a fierce 1v1 gunnery duel with the IJ and Kaba. Tsukuba also beached itself. Yeah. Excellent work. By my entire fleet. And Congo is now thoroughly stuck. I don't know if it's going to get back off of that rock. Because it is. Its propellers are high and dry. So it looks like it is going to be there until the battle ends. Yeah, I think I, I just sort of gave up and turned it off. Oh, no, it's sliding free from the rock. Okay. Tsukuba, meanwhile, is just sort of sitting there shelling the island. And uh, the palisade is in this little cove, sitting there completely unharmed. Actually, no, it's lost a paddle wheel, but luckily, thanks to its broadsiding setup, it doesn't have any guns that can fire backwards. Palisade Claymore. Thank you, past me, for showing future me the name of that ship. Oh, mortar shots out from the Claymore, though. Although, they are fired at a um, Kaba-class destroyer, bouncing around in heavy seas, which means they're probably going to miss horribly. Torpedoes from the other Kaba class, hitting it, some missing, skipping across the island. Mountain climber torpedo. Kaba is completely hidden thanks to wave action. Boop, there it is, and there it goes back behind the crest of a wave. These Onyx Watch storms are actually pretty incredible. Uh-oh, Kaba might be cutting off its own firing arcs. I think I might go here and... Aha, the weather changes. I think I might go here and... Yeah, I think I'm just turning it around so it doesn't try to loop around the entire uh, island. And yeah... <sighs> Claymore has now gotten itself beached high and dry. So it looks like it's not only my ships that are doing this. And there's no more uh, heavy wave action to get it unstuck. Congo, on the other hand, has actually freed itself from the island and is now coming back around to open fire. Has lost a propeller in the process. Um, it still has its and its uh, rudders. It still has its simple rudder though, which that's cool. And Sakuba has also freed itself and is now coming around, as well as the other Kappa. Mm, sorry. I need to go to bed. But first, this video. It looks like more waves have allowed it to get stuck in this little tidal pool, and is it going to capsize? Aha, it's not. It's a paddle bit saved it. But it's now beaching itself again, this time in a more permanent location. Scuba's got a gun turret stuck in the other way. Which, uh, totally not my fault for not setting up firing restrictions properly. 
And uh, yeah, not sure why the game's paused here. Might cut this out. Nope, never mind. It was short. Kaba opening fire with her secondary battery and forward 12 inch gun. I think I might, I think I'm trying to get the rear gun unstuck here. Yeah, there it goes. All right, both guns actually firing on target, which the Claymore is just prolonging its demise here. Delaying the inevitable Yeah, a lot of the Onyx Watchcraft may not be that effective, but they are tanky, that is for sure. And Congo has lost its forward gun turret, and at first I was very confused by this, uh, until I realized, oh look, the whole bottom of the ship got scraped off against the island, and the gun turret just literally fell out the bottom of the ship. So that's where that went. Um, maybe I shouldn't put wooden bottoms on my ships to save cost, I don't know, could be a good idea, although let's be honest, if that was alloy, it probably would have been scraped off anyways. Um, but yeah, so Congo's going to have some expensive repairs considering that turret cost almost 30k, but yeah, the uh, Claymore has disintegrated, and that will be the end of this battle. And so the next couple episodes, I'm going to go straight for the Onyx Throne. Um, I have some vehicles I've been working on that I should be able to unveil in the next couple episodes, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and have a good one.